Hello everybody, it's Susan with the Carnegie Library. I'm here with another book review for you. Today I want to talk about Piranesi by Susanna Clark. Oh my goodness, this book was wonderful. I really enjoyed it. It's kind of like a fantasy slash different world kind of book with a little bit of magic sprinkled in. It's about a young man named Piranesi, but he's not quite sure that's his real name. But he lives in this mysterious world in which there's just one giant building with all these halls, these corridors. The, the sea comes crashing up to the building, so there's waves everywhere. Sometimes they flood, so he has to go to a different part of the building. So what he does all day long is he just explores this labyrinth. He explores all the corridors. He maps them out. He writes in his journal. And he's the only one there except for someone that he calls the other. Now the other stays in another part of the building, so he only sees him every once in a while. And when he sees him, he's very mysterious. He trains him on how to look for this certain thing that they're trying to find. But he's very mysterious and he doesn't really know what's going on with this guy that he calls the other. So he just spends his day collecting seaweed to make food for himself mapping out all the different corridors. He has his own unique calendar system for keeping track of the dates. So this book goes between Piranesi and what he's talking about and what he's doing and then it goes into his journal entries. So we read his journal entries to see what's going on and it's just very mysterious. They're the only two people in the whole world as he keeps going further and further, you keep waiting to see, is he going to find some other people? He finds bones of people there, but there's no other people besides him and the other. And I really don't want to say much more than that because it might give stuff away, but this book was so beautifully written. The language that Susanna Clark uses, it was just so evocative and beautiful, and it really made me see this. And I can't stop thinking about this book. I finished it a few days ago, and I just can't stop thinking about it because it was just so beautiful. And just she just put it in your mind, and you could actually see this almost like a movie. And I just love when books do that. And um, it was a beautiful, beautiful tale from beginning to end. Highly recommend checking this one out. Once again, it's Paranisi by Susanna Clark via the Carnegie on our special shelf for you to check out and enjoy and let us know what you think about it. Join us again soon for more book reviews. Thanks so much!